One of the games I never really got around to covering when it came to the eShop closure of both the Wii U and the 3DS games is Silver Falls Episode Prelude, which is a Switch exclusive title. And the first one to be on the Switch, by the way. I would say, like, this game in a nutshell is a more of a tech demo of what it can do on a Switch. Now, look, it's a short game in the series, and good reason. That's why it's called Episode Prelude. So, just like the rest of the series, it uses a co-linker functionality for exclusive content. So, this game, well, you play as this delivery guy who was trying to give out someone's order, and then he was getting ambushed by some creatures. So, that's kind of the story in a nutshell, because of how short it is. So, there's supposedly a secret ending, depending on what you do, but after you beat the game, you can unlock this frontier game where it's kind of like, kind of like the ones you play on the 3DS or whatever, so... For me, this is like the weakest game in the series, and rightfully so. Now, this game can actually target both graphics and frame rate if you really wanted to, but most of the UI and the gameplay functionality are all based on 3 Down Stars, which actually came out a little bit, or at least around the same time as the game, but yeah. It came out like around the time when 3 Down Stars was getting negative press, all because of a terrible launch, which actually managed to redeem itself on later patches. Everything, like I said, like you'd be playing basically on the 3 Down Stars stuff, but a lot of people gave this game also negative press. Well, what is cool, though, is that the game has this texting thing, kind of like that smartphone thing, which is, I think is cool, but it always would constantly go up to your face, but I wouldn't even care if it was like once in a while thing for like certain things, which is a great idea, but this one just keeps popping up constantly, but whatever. Anyways, the game, it's too dark. I'm not saying in terms of like the humor or whatever. I'm saying in terms of like the game, because sometimes I get lost, I'm trying to find these batteries that I was trying to use to light. So they said you need two batteries, right? So I go over there and I try to get the battery. I got the one battery, I was looking for the other battery, but I couldn't find the battery. And then I put the battery in the flashlight and it was on, so I'm like, I don't know what was the point of it. Supposedly there's going to be a new update for this game, but I can't really say when it's going to come out, because all these games are starting to gradually come to Switch. Rather, whether it be like remasters or homebrew games coming to other systems or or just new games entirely. Well, pretty soon, next game will be Duck Season, which I'll be covering both the DS and the Switch version, which I'll explain why when it comes to that time. I would go on to talk about this game, but there's really not much to say about this game other than it's just more of a tech demo of what what's to come to the Switch when it comes to the Silver Falls games. And we've already got like two other games that are on the Switch, like Ghoul Busters. And most recently, I've already talked about, was Guardians of Metal Exterminators, which both of them have been remastered from the 3DS. The only thing I can say about this game is that it has a cliffhanger ending, so I can't really go out to say what's going to happen or not. But if you guys just want to get this game just for co-linker purposes, then... This is really all I can say about this game, other than, well, I got lost in the game a few, a few times already. It's, too, it's like, again, it's like too dark to see if you guys don't have a flashlight. And sometimes when I come back to playing this game, I always forget what I was supposed to do, just because of how dark it is. You can't even see without a flashlight anyways, but, again, if you guys just want to get this game for cold ink or content, then, you know, this will probably be the one for you if you guys want to put in the co-linker for other games like Why Inside It's Umbra, Undertakers, or maybe other ones that are accessible f to have this game be in other ones. So that's really all I can say about that one. But yeah, there's just other Silver Falls games I think you guys will probably enjoy better than Episode Prelude, which really just says something in terms of like the gameplay, but look, if you guys have played 3 Down Stars, you get the idea. So, that's all I can really say, and yeah, if you guys just want to play this just for co-linker content, then by all means, go right ahead.